Hi, I'm Eric Lichwager, the host of the Quick Chop Show here on newsupnow.org. Listen, if we're cooking some quick dinners tonight, and with a, one of the things I really love doing is a risotto with mushrooms and a mushroom mix, kind of a mushroom medley in there. Um, it takes a little bit of uh, paying attention to what we're doing tonight, but it's a great recipe. I think you'll really, really love it. So let's get chopping. Now, I had parchment paper on here because uh, it's, it's great to have this on to keep your work surface clean. So if you're cutting vegetables and things like that, cleanup's really easy. You just throw it away and you're done. Quick Chop is provided by Mission Grocery Outlet in San Francisco. All right, so with risotto, one of the things um, you gotta kinda do is, is you toast up the risotto. So what I've done is I put the risotto in a pan here with some olive oil and kind of on a medium heat. And we're just kinda, Going to stir it around a little bit until it starts to turn a little brown. Not all of it, just where it's starting to toast. You know, hence the word toast. Um, the risotto's the risotto's starting to toast up a little bit. Um, the pan's still fairly nice and hot. Now I've chopped up my three varieties of mushrooms. I got the oysters, um, the forest mushrooms, and the, the uh, velvets. So I'm, and there's probably I don't know about. Uh, 50 grams of each. So I'm going to pour this in here and I'm going to add in some, some additional olive oil because we want to toast up the mushrooms a little bit as well. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, sea salt here. And just got this nice wooden spatula, hard wood, um, very, very tight fibers on this wood because You'll, you'll find some that they're rough, especially if they've been in water. And if they're rough, they just, they just collect um, material. So the trick to risotto is once it starts toasting is to start adding liquids. Now, don't add a lot right away. And notice I'm not holding it up here to ladle that in. I'm down here and I'm just kind of letting it go in gently. And to keep stirring. Keep moving it. You want that arborio rice to collect the liquid. Now I'm starting off with water. And you don't want to put a bunch in there at once because what's going to happen is you're going to lower the temperature of your, of your pan too much. Now I'm going to wait that to come back up. That was kind of lukewarm water. It's, it's probably better to even use hot, uh, hot water, but I've, I've just got some warm tap, tap water in there. Now, I like using heavy pans when I'm doing something like this. Uh, this is a copper core, all clad. Uh, the reason is you get really good disbursement of the heat across the bottom of the pan. So everything in that pan is really getting heated equally. Whereas when you get these thin pans, there you get hot spots, you know, right under the flame. And that's how you tend to burn things. It's really hard to manage the heat. So now I'm just going to start adding vegetable stock and keep moving that arborio around. Yeah, don't go feed the dog at this time. This is probably not a good good time to, to feed, go feed Breacher. Um, have the kids do it. They're going to feed them under the table anyway. So I can hear when that pallet is hitting that rice, it's still smacking. So it's nowhere near done, so long way to go. The question was asked, you know, how much, how much do you add? Well, you, you just keep adding until essentially the arborio's cooked um, and that liquid is cooked out of it. That's why you want to keep adding little amounts rather than, than all at once because then you know, then you know how much you need. Um, a note about the bouillon too, use uh, a low sodium. I've used um, a vegetable bouillon and I put some of the scrappings of the mushrooms in there and also some sage. The reason you want the low sodium is because as this 
liquid is reducing down, if I had sodium in the bouillon, it would concentrate. And I want to control the sodium that's in the dish. Mm. Still plenty crunchy, so we're still going with the with liquids. Just kind of alternating here. And just keep moving it around. The reason you want to keep moving it around is if, if you've got a boreal rice kind of sticking up on the sides, it's not going to absorb the liquid at the same rate as some of the others, and you're going to have these sort of crunchy parts in your in your risotto. Okay, the aborio is going to cook for about mm, 20 more minutes, and uh, so it's, I'm going to step away for just a second. We're going to open the wine. So what I brought for this dish is a uh, Mendocino County uh, Sauvignon Blanc 2020. Um, it's I think it's Jebo, Jebo Chiore, um, $6.99 at the Mission Grocery Outlet. A nice pear. Wow, oh, that's fantastic. Nice pear, pear finish to it. Um, cut apples. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I think everybody will have, have, be happy with that one. Um, we're actually going to add a bit of this into our dish, and I think I'm going to do that now. I've got about, about 50 milliliters there. And I'm going to add, add that. That's going to give it just a little bit of acid, a little bit of acidity to it. And better to add that about middle midpoint rather than at the beginning or at the end. If you add it at the end, sometimes the alcohol doesn't have enough time to cook off, and you get a little bit of an alcohol aftertaste. It's starting to get that translucency to it. Liquid's just about cooking down, so I think I'm pretty close to not adding any more. I think I'm going to maybe just do a little more of the bouillon. And we can taste it. So we're looking for just it to not have too much of that tooth resistance. Mm. Almost there, yeah. Now we're going to start to finish this. I'm going to add some butter. I've got a little chopped sage, fresh chopped sage. I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to add my finishing salt. So these are the salt flakes. I'm going to start salting just a little bit for the finish. And I'm going to roll, roll that. And so now we're adding a little more fat to cream it up. And that'll make it a little more luxurious. And you can see it's starting to hold up. As I start to pile it, it's starting to hold that pile a little bit more than it was before, telling me it's getting close. The rest of my butter. This is unsalted butter. Again, I don't want salted ingredients because I want to control the salt levels on my own. Another tool they made for right-handed people. So I got to use it backwards. Now it goes in the mascarpone. That's really going to cream it up. I'm just going to stir that in, fold it in. Mascarpone is more creme fraiche. It's a little thicker consistency than creme fraiche. But you can see it's getting that more creaminess look to it. And last, I'm going to start to fold in some shaved Parmesan. <clears throat> now, once all that cream has been incorporated, one last thing I'm going to add a bit of is some champagne vinegar. Just a touch. It's just going to give it another little dimension of flavor. Now, the reason you want to add the vinegar later, because if you add it too early, it might break the cream that you put in, and you don't want that. Done. We're ready to plate this. Normally, I'd heat these up, but you know, it, this is a pretty dense product, and it's it's going to retain heat just fine. So I'm not too worried about putting it in a room temperature dish. 
Mm, you can smell that mascarpone. This was about a half a pound, uh, about 200 grams of arborio rice. I'll just finish that. A little bit of Parmesan on the top. Again, a little more finishing salt on the top. And again, I like to, so you want to salt up high so you can see what you're doing. Don't use shakers. So there you have uh, uh, Borio uh, risotto with uh, mushroom medley, Parmesan cheese, fresh sage. Um, great recipe. I love cooking this stuff. It's really wholesome. Let's give it a taste. Love that stuff. Okay, came out perfect. Nice Sauvignon Blanc. Great compliment. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm your host, Eric Lichwager, and thanks for watching the Quick Chop Show. Leave your comments uh, at send that over to um, the Quick Chop Show at newsupnow.org, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm. Good stuff.